It's not just a bad cold weather outside, but even the current political climate in India has gotten quite gloomy. It has now come down to black pepper versus black white pepper. Some party leaders terms it as childish politics, while some are enthusiastic about the BJP to introduce a white paper against the UPA era. Now that the opposition has dared to present a black paper against the ruling party, a big showdown in parliament is expected. What's all this about? Let's have a look. As it's flashing on every news headlines, Malikarjun Karge has released the black paper this morning. With the release of the black paper, it will highlight the alleged failures during the 10th year of the Bhatia Janta Party. So why is the Congress party is reportedly preparing a black paper to counter the BJP's narrative? Black papers which are used to critically analyse and challenge government policies, focusing on potential shortcomings and negative aspects in response to BGP-led governments, plans to present a white paper in the ongoing budget session of the parliament. The document will typically highlight the government's achievements and outline the plans for the future. Here is Karge releasing the black paper during the press briefing. Thank you. हम एक आज ब्लैक पेपर अगेंस्ट दी गवर्नमेंट निकाल रहे हैं क्योंकि वो हमेशा अपनी बात को पार्लियामेंट में जब रखते हैं तो बार बार अपनी कामयाबों को सुनाते हैं और उनके फेलियर्स को छुपाते हैं और जो हम उनके फेलियर्स के बारे में भी जब कहते हैं तब भी हमको उतना उसको महत्व नहीं दिया जाता है तो इसलिए हमने सोचा कि एक ब्लैक पेपर उस इस सरकार के खिलाफ निकालना और लोगों को बताना इस दृष्टि से आज हम ये आपके सामने रख that was Congress President Malikarjun Kharge briefing the media as he releases the black paper. Now all this comes amid the news that Finance Minister Sitaraman to lay a white paper on the Indian economy on the table of Lok Sabha as mentioned by the supplementary list of business of the House on February 8. The announcement of presenting a white paper was made during the presentation of February 1 Union Budget basically to compare the economic performances of 10 years of Congress-led UPA government with that of the 10 years of the BJP-led NDA government. The release of the black paper, which is titled Das Sal Anyai Kal on the mismanagement of the economy prior to 2014 to aim to draw lessons. Here is a visual of Nirmala Sitaraman stating that there will be a white paper on the economic performance of the last 10 years compared to the previous 10 years. Government has got the trust, confidence and blessings of the people based on its exemplary track record of GDP, that is governance, developmental and performance. There will be a white paper on economic performance of the last 10 years compared with the previous 10 years. The 12th announcement is so much a statement that I would like to make. 
which is what I made in the budget speech as well. Government has got the trust and the confidence and the blessings of the people based on its exemplary track record of GDP, as I said, governance, development and performance, effective delivery and also on Jan Kalyan. So highlighted, highlighted points have been realized as goals uh, of Vik Vikasit Bharat till now and they are the realizable goals also continuing to be so because what we want to underline is we govern with good intentions, true dedication and hard work in the coming years and that's why Amrit Kal is also now called Kartavya Kal. In short, that's the budget. Further, Malikarjun Kargi, speaking to the media, said that according to the World Bank, India became the third largest economy in 2011. But Prime Minister Narendra Modi is not ready to accept the fact. Kargi mentioned that the party took 14 crore people out of poverty in 10 years. He alleged that BJP is spreading lies by circulating edited speeches. No matter how many lies are told, the data will always be available, Kargi said. Take a look. वर्ल्ड बैंक की माने तो 2011 में भारत विश्व का तीसरा सबसे बड़ी अर्थव्यवस्था बना चुका था लेकिन मोदी जी उसको भी मानने के लिए तैयार नहीं है हमने 10 साल में 14 करोड़ लोगों की गरीबी से बाहर निकाले इधर उधर के भाषणों को काट काट कर <coughs> वो भ्रम फैला रहे हैं कितना भी झूठ आप फैलाओ लेकिन आंकड़े अपने से the exchange of black paper and white paper between the Congress and the BJP party reflects a deeply divided political dynamic in India. This battle of narrative seeks to sway public opinion on the economic performance of the past two decades, focusing on the UPA era under Congress and the current NDA regime under BJP. As the Congress party's black paper criticizes the BJP's government alleged mismanagement of the economy in the past 10 years, the BJP through the white paper, intends to showcase its economic achievements compared to the UPA's performance. So far, those were the updates. As for now, this is a progressing story. We will provide you with more updates very soon.